for you later today anyone down to Stowerport on the left bank so uh, let's uh, get on with the uh, walk yeah guys so I'm gonna have a walk today and a uh, bit of a catch-up video um, I've started off at Udley uh, left bank and we're gonna head down towards Stowerport show you some of the pegs on the way and then um, have a nice walk and uh, a catch-up so uh, just at Udley now uh, the other videos uh, that I've done last year, I ended it in Bewley, so it would be nice to uh, progress from Bewley to Stowerport. So, uh, yeah, off to see you in a bit. I'm just coming out of Bewley, I've turned right out of the bridge, and we've just got to pass through this little bit of a court just to get down the track, uh, and then we're on the uh, river. Just leaving Bewley now, just on the uh, path, and then. Um, I'm just past the little court area there. The, uh, the bridge is there. Still in the town. It's got the last uh, car park down there. And then, um, so it's going to be a bit of a walk to uh, Stowerport. But uh, have a catch up, see what the river's doing. Um, but uh, the river's low, as it normally is this time of year. I think uh, last year when I'd done a walking video it was uh, more or less the same the same sort of uh, height um, but uh, we'll be uh, passing on down through some meadows coming out to uh, the old caravan park and then uh, Stowerport itself so uh, we'll have a mooch around and um, see uh, what we can see Would you smell wild garlic then very nice near the uh, wildlife, the birds and the trees and uh, hopefully this sun stays out it's uh, it's not forecast for any rain but uh, we did have a bit earlier but uh, hopefully the, uh, this sun stays out so just heading down to the um, Ribble's uh, foot again, if I'm saying that right. <laughs> a bit more of a closer look at the uh, river from this peg. I'll just go over this little bridge and then it turns into a gravelly path and then you can um, then if, I presume you can drive along the river but um, one of the uh, angling associations is um, Dugley Dugley Angling but uh, you'll see the gravelly path which you can get a car down um, and um, it leads on to the uh, BAA but, um, and it's, uh, it goes quite a way, this gravelly path um, then you come out by uh, a caravan, a uh, static caravan site and then a few more meadows Heading into uh, Stowerport. But the uh, route from Bewley to Stowerport along the bank is uh, not too bad. Um, along the middle seven, when I'd done the videos last year, it was uh, some places like a forest, but uh, this path, it's uh, not too bad at all. You've just got a small narrow path just further down about halfway and it's all over ground but other than that it's nice uh, it's a nice pleasant uh, walk as you can see just got the uh, boy path bridge coming up a little gravelly area there just uh, that's exposed um, few pegs on the other side. I have fished a peg further down at uh, uh, Blackstone, I think it's called. Um, fished there the ones uh, 
autumn that was, yeah. I've not done the video on it, I didn't catch it. <laughs> but um, it was a very slow fishing that day, it was. Um, just underneath the boy Pass Creek, you can just see the bottom of the river there, all the water down. So, uh, quite shallow. So, we're on the BAA stretch. Got the uh, path and it goes round quite uh, up a bit. Um, there is a gate, but I didn't know if it had um, a combination to it. But um, the, uh, just seeing the bypass bridge where we walk from, and uh, to the left of us, we've got uh, Blackstone and uh, coming up to Ribbons, Ribbles Foot. And uh, there's a nice view now of the river that's been going up up. them patterns someone's uh, done in the stone Well, it's nice and uh, peaceful down here, but uh, just on that gravelly uh, track now. And uh, it's, uh, it's turned out to be a nice day. It's, uh, it's a nice gentle breeze. Uh, about always a 20 today, so uh, it's not bad at all. We'll soon be uh, back on that river uh, fishing next month. So, uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, get a few barbels back on the bank. Not much happening on this uh, stretch, but uh, you just got this gravelly path. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll be into a few meadows uh, in the while. So. The last time I fished down this part, it was somewhere here, I believe, um, on the uh, Ribbles Fud stretch, like I uh, said. But um, the way I went, I had to go all the way through Beaudley, uh right bank, through the town, through um, um, the narrow street, out of the bypass bridge, and then you park on the road. I think it's a football club or a rugby club. Um, so I've just parked by that. Look at this peg. So a nice little uh, peg peg here on the uh, left bank. Oh, the bank's uh, cracking there, look. So a nice uh, spot to uh, set up. The actual peg is uh, just there, the uh, stage. You see all the uh, pegs, quite a few pegs over there, but they're all overground, well, very overground. <laughs> oh, I just see two there, just poking out. But uh, quite low and quite still, the river is. Uh, but 
um, not a bad peg, a bit of water on it. So, just on um, another meadow now. Uh, this meadow, they've got some um, static caravans, uh, or marble homes, I'd say more marble homes, but uh, I think it'd be a bit of an insult to call them a static caravan, to be honest. <laughs> but look, <laughs> really nice. Very nice. And um, you've got the river here. Uh, runs to the end of the field. They've got some private stands fishing and for uh, boats, I presume. For the uh, all private for the, uh, the mobile home uh, tenants, private landlords. Uh, it's uh, really nice, really well kept. Really nice. Nice gardens and uh, oh, I've even got the egg shaped uh, swinging basket so you can sit in and relax. <laughs> so we're probably just under halfway to uh, our destination, Stogerport. So it's actually uh, Seven Bank Park. I better not anger around too much because they'll be probably coming out <laughs> asking what I'm doing. Another private uh, stand look. More private, holding up nice. Look at that full stage. Uh, very nice. There's the uh, rest of the uh, marble homes, chalets. It was quite uh, quite far back. So uh, it's nice and quiet in, in between towns now. I've, uh, I've only seen one jogger and about two walkers. But when I was in the town in Bewley, it was uh, quite busy, to be honest. But um, especially uh, filming, I normally like to uh, film where I'm fishing and it's normally quiet. So um, I'm happy now I've uh, got out of the town. <laughs> Just got to do Stoport now. <laughs> What's he doing with that camera talking to himself? <laughs> I'm normally hidden down the bank. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's parts like these that are uh, really quite quiet and peaceful. You ain't got many uh, people walking. They normally uh, they don't normally uh, walk too far from the uh, town, but um, we're in just in between Ribblesford and Lickhill Manor Caravan Park. I should just show you that on my uh, on my phone. That's where I am. I don't know, I don't know if you can uh, see that, but um, so yeah. You can uh, expect it to be a bit quiet, but it is a weekday. But uh, I'm sure it does get a bit busier in the uh, summer months. So. But 
that uh, nice right in the uh, countryside. The cattle, the birds, the wildlife. That's what makes uh, fishing the uh, the river for me special. You got the valley and the trees. Really uh, beautiful and relaxing down these places. Can be a bit of a walk. Some of the uh, places with the fish, uh, especially with all your tackle on, ain't it? But uh, you know, it's uh, it's enjoyable, and uh, I try and carry. Try and go as light as I can, but uh, as you know, we just seem to carry more, more, and more stuff. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, it's no, not too bad at all. So, after this track, there's another meadow, and then we're on the caravan park. But uh, I'm trying to look for um, a path, a peg to go down, but as uh, I've not uh, come across any uh, pegs yet to uh, show the river. So um, it's just all trees and brambles. But um, I mean, I doubt that uh, there's any cut out because of where it is. It's um, it's it's a pretty long walk if you're going to come up here to uh, fish. <laughs> so uh, so nothing's happening on uh, this stretch at the moment. Just all uh, like I say, brambles and all that. Uh, the river there, so uh, which I can't get down to. But um, should start opening out in a bit, and uh, should be able to uh, get back down to the uh, to the river. So uh, I'll just give you a pan round. But uh, again, it is still uh, half and half, it's right in the middle of them, um, sort of the uh, towns. So you can expect it to be uh, a bit more quieter. We am, uh, we am on the uh, caravan park now. There was a sign saying technically this is the uh, start of the caravan park. So they must be having something coming soon. But uh, this is the first peg. So if you want to fish the caravan park, I think you get your tickets from the um, caravan shop, the camping shop on site. And uh, you can camp and uh, fish it. But I don't know how good it is to fish because uh, I've never fished it myself and I've not heard very good reports of any uh, decent barber coming out but um, that's just what I've uh, seen but probably still a nice uh, place to fish or match fish so that's the uh, first peg on the uh, caravan side but you'll find that the uh, really nice uh, really nice pegs platforms but um, Bit awkward when uh, you fish uh, a rod pod like me. I normally like it on a on the grass area and dig it in a bit. But the uh, steps are nice and the handrail that makes a change. That does. 
on the uh, sliding down and rolling down the uh, bank. <laughs> This is the uh, second peg of the uh, caravan site. Again, well maintained pegs. Quite easy access, good staging. So if you ever do come down here, you can uh, do a bit of camping and fishing, but uh, it does get busy. A bit like uh, Hampton Load, but, um, but yeah. Uh, and the river looks like it's flowing backwards because it's shallow but um, it normally it don't normally seem to when it's low at Stowerport the river don't normally seem to pace through as, uh, as up by uh, Bewley and upstream it's more wider and obviously it's um, it's uh, you got the boats on it That's uh, luxury, ain't it, man? The, the unrail and the uh, steps. Again, same setup. Nicely uh, dug out pegs and a nice uh, fishing platform. Then he's going to have uh, something on. But uh, I'm just setting something up when I come past earlier. It was, uh, I was just setting it up. There was no fencing rounds. This part here is a nice uh, scenic view. You've got the River Seven going down to obviously to Stowerport. And then uh, you just see the river, it just bends round there. Just coming onto the uh, caravan site. We want the main bit of the caravan site now. And uh, it's a nice. Uh, a scenic uh, view. Oh. So uh, I just like this bit. Oh, you got some. Yeah, you can see the, the three pegs there on the stands. But, uh, it is a nice uh, view. Just on the caravan uh, site now. The uh, marquee there, probably someone on in the summer or uh, one of the weekends, the benches. And then you just got the uh, caravan uh, clubhouse just over there where you come in and fight. But uh, it's you at the uh, very busy this summer. But, uh, really nice campsite to keep it really uh, nice and maintained and um, by the looks of it from years ago they didn't have that other field so it looks like they've uh, got that other field as well um, but the grass is really nice and cut uh, no marks on it or anything it's been really uh, looked after the stream all the edges um, really well looked after I don't know if this is for uh, Boats, uh, is there any something uh, uh, a pontoon for uh, to get on the boats? But uh, uh, yeah.
uh, just crossing the meadow between the caravan site I'm just coming up to some chalets uh, so uh, they, some of these chalets have been here for years when they used to come as a kid yeah so uh, some chalets on here and um, over the years they've, uh, they used to be all wood and um, and now are brick rest wood some of them I think uh, now half uh, wood half brick um, little some uh, static caravan just at the uh, back <coughs> then you've got the morning of the uh, the boats and uh, you just go around there and uh, we've got the Stowerport bridge but uh, it's all private, you only can uh, stick to the uh, footpath um, if anyone goes off um, and somebody normally comes out and says that you should be on the uh, footpath um, it's, uh, it's a nice uh, little quiet um, Like these three here look like some of the older ones with the timber and uh, the roof down look very clever on that one. The ones over there have all uh, been modernised, uh, especially the first two. But um, I can remember these being here when I was a kid. So they've been here a few years and um, probably a lot of maintenance uh, on them to uh, keep them uh, in good keep. So you've got the individual um, gardens down to the pontoon to the uh, boats Loads of walkers in the summer up and down here Gets uh, quite busy Dog walkers, joggers Families down here So it's uh, It's not uh, it's not like the quiet place as well, normally fish on the middle seven, obviously being by a town. But um it's uh it uh, does get a bit quieter the other side of the bridge and you've got the angel pub and then it starts to uh to go off then downstream and uh So, uh, another part of the uh, River Severn. Over the distance from Bewley to here, 3.3 miles. Just took about an hour and a half, but I've been filming as well. So, just gonna have a drink and a bite to eat. And uh, we'll just uh, progress down to the uh, bridge. Uh, it's uh, ten past three, and um, it's nice and quiet down here, so uh, not too bad. <sighs> right, grab this sandwich and a drink, and I'll see you in a bit. Ah, oh, guys, did you see the uh, bridge just further down there? That we're just uh, coming up to, but uh, it's quite really quiet down here at the moment. I don't know where why, but. Uh, so the winds uh, just picked up. You've got the uh, pegs and platforms on the other side of the river. They've been there years, they opened them up. I think they've, um, I don't know if anyone's uh, done the pegs up. Yep, you can uh, just see the uh, Stowerport bridge, guys. So um, that's the walk from uh, Beulah to Stowerport. It's um, 3.6 miles, so just slightly over three and a half miles from, um, <clears throat> from Beulah to Stowerport. And um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, walking video. Don't know if I'm going to do any more, so more than likely I'll uh, see you on the banks of the uh, probably uh, in the middle seven to start off with, probably uh, sometime the end of June, and uh, hopefully get a few barbed out and um, good luck with your fishing. Uh, get on the banks and uh, let's catch uh, some barbel and enjoy the uh, surroundings. So. Until next time guys, 
thanks for watching tight lines and uh i'll see you soon so shut up So there's the uh, Stoneport Bridge. You've got the uh, Stoneport Boats Club there. I've just got the uh, fair behind me. But uh, I'm not going to uh, point my camera over there. But, um, so just uh, that's the uh, stretch of the river. It's actually, uh, it, it's actually still the river. It actually looks as though it's flowing towards the bridge. It's supposed to be flowing uh, downstream, but uh, but you do get that on the. Uh, Stoneport and when it's uh, low as well it looks as though it's just uh, you can't really tell what direction it's uh, flowing but obviously it, it is flowing to the from the right to the left of me or should be when there's a bit more water on it so I'm just going to uh, show you up here by the locks and then um, we'll have a mooch up here right, so you've got the, uh, the River 7 and you've got the uh, canal networks joining it all the way the locks all the way up to there and the uh, boat yard just uh, behind there and then we've got the Torton over there and I'm all the uh, apartments now but uh, that used to be um used to be a pub that these years ago I'm sure some of you remember it uh it uh, turned it all into uh, apartments and um it's uh it's quite maintained quite well and then just got it uh, downstream then coming uh, going out of uh Stoverport. So some old the uh, Delic buildings to the left down here. I'm not sure what they uh, used to be, but uh, there's uh, a bit of um, there's a bit of uh, aging uh, going on. But uh, and if it's something to do with the uh, river, the waterworks, uh, I'm not uh, sure. But they've been here. Uh, They've been empty uh, a long time. So, it's, uh, all the uh, closed, closed up. So, there's another building here. It's, uh, the window, skylight window's missing out of it. And uh, the window's boarded up. And uh, is that asbestos? That looks uh, an old uh, asbestos panel. A the doorway there some time ago but uh, certainly an old building I've seen uh, a few people uh, piking down here in the uh, winter before but if we look at the river now that's uh, that's quite loud man is it And then uh, you've just got a, a runoff. But uh, if anybody knows what this building used to be, ah, stinging nettles. <laughs> if anyone knows what this building used to be, the old windows and that, it's uh, 
something to do with uh, you know, waterwork, old waterworks or something. Um, let me uh, let me know. And then uh, it just goes on to some fields. And then you've got some houses uh, just downstream to the uh, left. Um, and there we go. So I'm presuming that building's something to do with, uh, with the uh, stumps in the river here. So I'm guessing, yeah, it's something to do with the river. Um, but uh, it has been there. Uh, a good boil and then we're back on to uh, a new wish what looks like a new shades in the state and then uh, back down uh, the river and then there's the uh, side of it there was a camera on the corner uh, pointing but uh, I've not uh, climbed out or anything you can uh, you can just walk in but uh, all abandoned I think something happening to the right. As, uh, I think I've seen them. Um, yeah, it's a yeah, it's a lovely park. Yeah, it's a coming. It's an industrial estate, and it's uh, a lovely um, wagon part. So yeah, something's going on there. But other than that, the rest it's uh, looks pretty abandoned. Anyway, going off topic here. <laughs> <laughs> right then guys, uh, thanks for watching, it's my uh, little walking video from Beauty to Stowerpool, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, again just something different, uh, last year I walked from um, Bridge North to Beaudley and uh, just finishing uh, off on um, this little bit of a uh, stretch down to Stowerpool, so uh, I might not do another one, um, but I'll probably see you uh, back on the River Seven fishing for barbel at the end of uh, June. So uh, I hope your uh, start of the season goes off to a good start. So until um, next time guys, thanks for watching. Tight lines, be safe on the banks, and I'll catch you later.